What are you doing to this young boy? How did you get in? Speak. No. Come in. Come in, David. <laughs> this one right here, right here. Let's get this up here too. Yeah, yeah, that thing's leaking, man. Hey, look at me in my eyes. Look at me in my eyes. I said, open your eyes and look at me in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand up. You have to listen to the authority of the Lord. There you go. Now come here. Come here. This woman's gonna get set free from here. What are you doing to her? Huh? How did you get in her body? You know. Oh, you know. You know. You've been tormenting and attacking her family. You think you're gonna destroy her? I saw her worshiping the Lord. I know she loves the Lord. Uh-uh. Uh, don't hurt her. Don't hurt her. Now, tell me how you got into her. Speak. Uh, uh, I said speak. Speak. Jesus is the supreme authority in this place. This house is covered by the, the Lord Jesus Christ. You must listen to everything that is said in this house. I want to know who the demon is now. How did you get inside of her? Through her childhood? Yeah, 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 yeah. Through her childhood. What happened to her that brought you in? Her parents did what? Did what? Did what? Uh, abandoned her? Does she forgive them? Mm. So listen, if she forgives the parents, then that means this, that you have no power in this woman's life. Because when forgiveness is given, all the enemy's ways and all the power of the enemy is broken. By the power? Uh -uh, you gotta go, you know it. In the, yeah, 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 yeah. In the authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command this demonic force, this unclean spirit that has been in this woman, come out of her body. Now! 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 Oh! 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 Fuck! Yeah. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Yeah. All the way out. Out of her life. Out of her life. Yep. Yeah. You can't disobey a servant of the Lord. You heard what I said. Out. Out. Submit yourself to Christ. Now listen to me and come out of the body. Listen to me and come out of the body. Leave the temple. Leave this woman's temple now. Leave the temple. Saints, intercede for her, please. What's his name? He's never done this before. When did he start doing it? Stand up and look at me. What are you doing to this young boy? Huh? What are you doing to this young boy? Huh? Speak. Everything. Look at me. When did you come in here? Huh? When did you come in here? Huh? Speak. When it was open. When he was open. What did he do to open the door? Dad? Does he forgive his dad? Does this boy forgive his dad? Yes or no? I want the boy to come back now. Come back. Come back. <laughs> you don't? You need to, man. Do you love Jesus? And look, Jesus forgives you, okay? I know it's hard, but look, Jesus wants your dad too, okay? He can do miracles. He can do miracles you never knew. You understand? Can you say, Jesus, I forgive my dad for not being there for you? Do you forgive him now? And God's going to take away this pain, okay? I'm going to set you free, you hear me? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he just forgave his father. So I command every spirit that has caused this boy torment, you listen to me now, you come out of his body, now! Now! Let him go completely. Now! Now! Boys like that.
<laughs> Come on, we out of here. Stop causing him pain in his body. Stop tormenting him. Holy is falling. Holy is falling. Every generation of Christians broken from his life. Be free. So make yourself to Christ. Amen. You feel better? I prophesy your freedom now. You're set free from that pain that comes to your father. Amen. Amen. Hey, now look at me, young man. I want to prophesy something to you. You will not walk in the same pain and trauma and torment that the men in your family have walked in. You will actually honor people appropriately. You will, honor, you will honor your future wife appropriately. You will not abandon your children. That spirit of abandonment that's been on your bloodline is broken. He will restore in ways you never thought he could restore. You understand? Now I'm going to pray for you to be filled with God's spirit. Amen? Father, I thank you for this young man. I pray right now from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Be filled with the spirit of the Lord. There he is. The Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Keep speaking. Yeah, more. Keep speaking. Yeah. Keep speaking. Wow. Come on! <laughs> Hallelujah! Well, look at that. Give me a high five, boy. Come on. Hallelujah. Come here, man. God bless you, man. I love you, man. Amen. Come on, man. Give me a hug, man. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sequoia McClellan, and today I was free. Today has been absolutely, I mean, amazing. God showed up and showed out in a marvelous way. First, he, Holy Spirit was running rampant, and my son, he started getting a feeling. And as soon as everything broke, he was first, I was second. The Lord is good. I actually got some deliverance today, but today I felt free. And I'm just so grateful to God for giving me just one more chance to be reading. Well, my name is Diane McClellan. I just got delivered today, and I'm happy about that because I couldn't walk at all because I had to be in the hospital for my birthday in November this month, too. I'm surprised. We get to go to the church because we just moved and we hope everything is great for the whole year. Yes, God is good. We've been set free and I just thank God for it. So it's been a blessing. I think everybody needs to think about being free. God bless. Absolutely. <laughs>